So I'm going to show you how we heat our cabin in the woods during the winter. In the past, I've burned wood in a wood stove, but lately, for the past few years, we've been burning anthracite coal, which is this stuff right here, kind of like shiny black rocks. We burn the coal in this stove here. It's called the Chubby Stove, and it's especially, it's especially designed to burn anthracite coal. Anthracite burns cleanly. It's not like bituminous coal, that stuff you see in old movies with locomotives with lots of black smoke. It burns cleanly. It gives a lot of heat, about three times the heat of the best seasoned hardwood. And the best part is you only have to spend about five minutes every 12 hours servicing this stove. And that's what I'm about to do now. So the first step is to open the turn damper here in the stove pipe. And then to open this bottom door here and remove the ash pan, which has the ash from the previous 12 hours of burning. And there's some building up in the bottom. I'm going to have to clean that soon. But for now, we'll just take out this ash pan and dump it outside in a can that I have prepared for this. Just put my boots on here. Here's the galvanized can I use for dumping ash. And now the pan is empty and ready to, to take another 12 hours worth of, of coal ash. So that's step one. <laughs> There's our new puppy making some noise in the background. So now I lie down here on the floor. I put the ash pan back in and I do what's called flossing. So I take this fire poker here and there's a, a rotating grate above the ash pan. I don't know if you can really see it on the camera, but I have to shake loose all the ash between the parts on the grate going back and forth. And you can see the ash falling down there. And every slot of this grate needs to be flossed like this until the ash stops falling and I see hot coals fall. And that shakes loose the ash so that air can start to circulate again from the bottom up into the firebox, which I'll show you in a couple minutes. And that oxygen, of course, lets the fire continue. So I'm just moving from one slot to the next here. And I'm done that side, and now I'll move to the other side. Like I said, this job only takes five minutes once every 12 hours, so once in the morning and once at night, which is great because with a, uh, with a wood fire, you have to add wood pretty often, and you often have to adjust the air intake settings on a wood stove, and sometimes stir the coals before you add more wood and just do a bunch of things to it to keep it burning well but a stove full of anthracite coal will continuously burn for 12 hours or more without having to do anything to it or add any more coal until you reach this 12 hour point okay so the flossing is done now so I'm going to close the, the bottom door and then I'm going to shake loose the rest of the ash. That's the main thing you want to do is get that ash out of the burning coals. And we do that over here, this little handle with a hole in it. We stick the fire poker in that and I grab that and I take it back and forth 27 times and that's going to rotate the firebox inside. I'm actually going to open this top door so you can see that I wouldn't normally do this, but I'll open the top door so you can see the firebox rotating inside as I move this handle. You can see the burning coals there. There, 27 times. A little bit of ash falling down because I had the door open, so I'll sweep that up later. So the next step is to top up the stove with fresh coal. 
which normally I'd have ready in that galvanized container there. But I've actually run out of coal, just about. So I go out here to my veranda where I have a stack of bags of coal ready. Here's one here, got Santa Claus on it, made by a company called Blashack out of Pennsylvania. This is what's called nut coal, which means the pieces of coal are about that big on average, which is the size that this stove needs to burn properly. Let me just tear open the bag. You can see the fresh coals in there. Lily, can you go calm down Luna, please? You dump it into the galvanized container. Throw the bag in the garbage. It's got quite a nice, interesting look to it. Anthracite coal. Like I said, shiny black rocks. And now I'll open the top door again and I'll shovel in the fresh coal until the coal is level with the top of the burn pot. You just want to put it in gently. You don't want to throw it in because throwing it in can upset the fire and coal fires are pretty easy to put out. Scoops here. Okay, now I'll level it out a little bit. Okay, now believe it or not, that's now ready to burn for another 12 hours. Doesn't look like much is happening right now. And it won't look like much is happening for a few hours probably because coal burns in layers. It burns its way up from the bottom towards the top. In a few hours, you'll see how it'll start to glow visibly again. But for now, that's all I need to do until nine o'clock tonight. So that's how we spend most of the winter heating our, our cabin in the woods here. I really hope you enjoyed this video on how we heat our cabin in the woods during winter using a coal burning stove. If you did, consider sharing the video, give it a like, and consider subscribing to our channel if you want to see more content like this. It would sure help us out a lot. Thanks very much for watching.